Uh, welcome back everyone on Town TV. We're back in the director's box at St James's Park where we're kindly welcomed by Town Ladies new manager Steve Gibbard. Steve, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the management of Town Ladies. I know you're a familiar face round here. We've seen you many times. Um, what's brought you back into management with the ladies? Probably the affinity from the what I had with the ladies before. Um, we had a good relationship uh, working with the ladies the last time in the North East Regional League uh, Northern Division where we were undefeated before obviously I left and Covid struck so I had a talk with Peter over the last month sort of wanted to get involved a little bit Peter sort of asked do you want to have a look at it again and I've got a lot of time I've got a lot of time for the ladies, they're a good bunch and we've just had a meeting downstairs with them, that's the first meeting we've had. Well I, I know you've got a great affinity with Alec Town and uh, I don't want to know what's going on in the meeting. I know a lot of the players, are you pleased with the turnout of all the players that came to your meeting tonight? It's been brilliant, um, the players have come en masse I think just to listen to what obviously I've got to say and also to put their questions to me as well because it's important that it's a two-way street um, I think a lot of players have been disillusioned over the last season uh, playing in the National League which has been a great achievement well, can't sir. take that away from them it's a great achievement they've done a fantastic job and they've represented Anik fantastically as well um, but they've been relegated that's the, the cold light of day they've been relegated and we've got to pick ourselves up again uh, was the, was the core of this evening uh, to start winning matches? The adventure from this season's over. You know how good those players are. Yeah. They know how good they are. You're back in the regional league. Yeah. Do people just want to get down, knuckle down, train, and start winning football matches again? It's exactly what we've said. It's exactly what I've just said. You, you've been relegated. That's it. The adventure's over. We've got to get back to winning, and we've got to get back on the train and pitch and working hard. If we don't do that, we're going to languish in that league as well. And getting the feedback from the ladies, the, the lasses, it's positive. Um, bringing the development back in as well. Bringing the development team back on board because I think it's been fractured. Not not by anybody or any such thing. Just, just the way things yeah, happen. The way things have happened. And we want to, uh, personally, I want to bring it back and bringing in a number two from within the club is probably the best move forward that I've made. And so who is far. that? It's Jenny Patterson. Jenny. Oh, she's been great for the ladies for years. She yeah. started when they were up at Lowick and yeah. Jenny, well respected. Jenny's Jenny's one of them, well respected players. She's played the game at a high level. She talks to the girls, she can connect with them. They have that respect for Jenny. And why go out and find someone from outside the club when I've got someone inside the club who will do the job much better? I totally respect that decision and I'm sure that will be reflected within the whole squad. Uh, we're going on to next season, I know it's a long way away. Uh, I don't know when you're going to start training for next season. You've got the core nucleus, are you looking to add, are you looking to just maintain the squad? And I don't want to go on to big ambitions, we know we've had the National League. Is it consolidation or is it winning football matches again? It's winning football matches again but consolidating a good league position. It's not going to happen overnight. Mm. You, these girls, and I, I will be brutally honest about it, these girls are tired. They've got another month off. They're, they're tired. You can see, I, I spoke to them after the last game against Bradford City where they were unlucky. Very they're, unlucky. They're, they're tired. Um, a lot of them are hurt by it all. But they've had that experience. And I've said, take that experience into the next campaign. Take what you know and put things right. The most important thing about tonight, um, do you think it's the turnout, the core nucleus of players? After what's happened during this season, are you pleased with everyone that has come and shown their face? Massively pleased, because let's be fair, it could have it could have folded halfway through the season with the defeats, but they didn't, and that shows that they have a the ability and b the grit to get through a season. Not many teams go through a season week after week getting beat and sticking it, but they're stuck in it till the end, and that can only be commendable to the whole squad and that's what me and Jenny's talked about and the nucleus of the squad's going to stay and we'll just need to look at adding little bits but things like the 16s, the under 16s, the development of the club moving through, you can't, we can't not have 
the follow through from the 16th of the reserves into the first team it's got to be a development and that's where we want to go that's where personally I want to go bring it together and not bring many players in from outside well J Johnny from Manicktown TV was here uh, for the final game of the under 16s and I mentioned it in an earlier video it's sad that they have disbanded so would you like to see like you've just mentioned you've mentioned it perfectly and beautifully where do they go now I know people go to university, it was the last yeah. game for the under-16s, they had a great win against Pontyland. They come to the development, hopefully. They come to the re development reserves, which I like to call them reserves. I, I've they, always they, called it reserves. They come to the development, they get stuck in, we've invited them all. What's going to happen is that the development and the first team will train together. Brilliant. It's That's that's where it's going to happen. Brilliant. They're going to train together, they're going to work together, because it's the only way it can work. Well, Steve, on behalf of Anik Town TV, on behalf of Anik Town, welcome back to the club. I know we said at the start you're a familiar face. It's great to see you, and I know next season we've got an awful lot to look forward to, and we're all looking forward to it. Steve, thank you so much thank for your time. Thank you very time. much. Thanks for your time, lads. Thank, thank you. Cheers, pal. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs>